hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is ayomidi here again if this is your first time here you're welcome my name is ayomidi and on this channel you're going to find sewing tutorials strictly sewing tutorials in this tutorial i'm going to be sharing how i made this kaftan dress made from a chantilly lace it's pretty simple and easy to make you can finish this project in less than an hour as that was what it took me to finish up this project all you need is your lace your bias tape your thread your scissors and of course your sewing machine now let's jump straight into this tutorial these are all of the materials I worked with. I have my lace fabric here and it is two and a half yards. It is Chantilly lace. I've also got some other tools. I have my measuring tape, fabric scissors, tailor's chalk. I also have my pattern master and I don't think I even use this pattern master in this project. And to make this tutorial very easy to understand, I drafted out a basic bodice block for this project it's just to make it very easy to understand so now let's move on to the cutting part of this project for the cutting i had to use the floor so that there could be a wider coverage i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two and i've also placed my pattern at the edge of the center front as usual the next thing is to do some quick alterations the very first alteration i will do would be along the shoulder from the center front region i'm going to be marking 21 inches which is going to be the width of this dress so this is going to take both the shoulder measurement and the sleeve length this could be as long as you want but i'm going with 21 inches and i'm going to be creating a slant with my hand to meet up with the 21 inch mark what i'll do next is to just mark that 21 inches all the way to the length of this gown by the way the length of my dress is 57 inches but as i went downward to the length i had to reduce the measurement to about 18 inches to create some sort of slants so that it won't be too big later on at the end and this is what i'm going to be cutting so guys i'm going to be cutting it all by the side straight up to the shoulder just to make us understand better this neckline right here is going to be for the back while the lower neckline is going to be for the front but i'm going to be cutting with the back neckline first of all so i'm just going over to cut by the side after which i'll cut along the shoulder slant and also along the neckline I'm done cutting and here is what my fabric piece looks like. What I will do next is to place the remaining fabric on fold and layer this particular one that I have cut on it. To cut the second fabric piece, I would need to place the one I just cut on my folded fabric and what I will just do is to duplicate this fabric just as I did for the initial one. The only difference is going to be along the neckline which I'm going to be showing us later on. I'm done duplicating my fabric piece. In order to trim my front neckline, all I have to do is to push one fabric piece aside, leaving the one that has the pattern. Then I'm going to be trimming the neckline on the other fabric. Guys, so I'm done. The next thing is to proceed to sewing. To sew my fabric pieces together, I will need to place right sides against each other. I will need you to be very attentive on how I place my fabric pieces against each other because this will change later on. But for this, I'm going to be placing right sides against each other first of all. And I would go ahead to join it only along the shoulder slants. Emphasis on just along the shoulder slants. I'm done and here is what my fabric piece look like. I've joined one shoulder slant and for the other shoulder slant I left about one inch. This is because I'm going to be using a bias tape to finish off the raw edge of this gown. To move on I'm going to be turning my fabric to the right side. So in this case the wrong sides of the fabric are facing each other while the right side is facing me. 
Remember I said you should be attentive on how I place my fabric pieces together. I'm just going over to align the fabrics together. So this is the right side of my fabric. The next step is to sew it along the sides. And to do that, I will need to make some measurements. The measurements I'll be taking is the shoulder to bust measurements. And in addition to that, I would add one inch. That gave me a total of 11 inches, which I'm marking. So I'm taking that measurement from the shoulder and I marked 11 inches from the 11 inches I'll mark 7 inches and that is what I'm going to be sewing so I marked 11 inches first of all and then I marked 7 inches in the world it is this 7 inches I'll go ahead and sew all the way down now in this instance you're going to be sewing on the right side of your fabric now i'm going to repeat likewise for the other side mark 11 inches downward seven inches inward and sew from the seven inches all the way down i'm done stitching guys okay this is where my stitch is starting from you can see my hand it's it's blocked so from here i took it all the way to the m and i left some allowance open so that there can be free flow of movement when you're working so you can leave about six inches for the slits by the side you're not going to be sewing the side closed you're just going to sew a straight stitch all the way down use your shoulder to bust measurement as a guide and that was what I measured I added one inch extra to make it 11 inches and then I took it all the way down this space here would allow you to wear this gown properly and also give you free flow of movement what I'll do next is to use a bias tape to secure this neckline and that will be the end of this tutorial also I'm going to be using an overlocker to overlock the raw edges of this blouse of this gown rather guys this is the outcome of this kaftan gown the beautiful thing about this kaftan is you can style it the way you want you can wear a contrasting color of a mini dress inward to give it a contrasting feel just like what i did here with a cream colored singlet that i just put in to create a contrast if you found this tutorial helpful make sure you click on the like button if you haven't subscribed and you've watched this video so far kindly click on the subscribe button below also turn on your notification guys goodbye